Hi, my name is Daniel Driscoll. I'm part of the Cincinnati Quad Racers and the Wuprose Racing Club. What we've done, and I'm going to present to you today, is create a diversity ground station system specifically designed to help with the reception at the United States Air Force Museum race. The problem we've had with this race in the past is that there's so much metal with all the aircraft, the hangar ceiling metal, everything inside of this building is basically reflecting signals back at the pilot, back in all sorts of different directions, and that creates what we call multipathic noise. In order to combat that, we've done two specific things over the course of the last year, which I believe will give the pilots an incredible experience, significantly improved over the prior two years of races that we've had at this museum, and potentially a basis for improving uh, club racing at other locations where you might have all kinds of other interference issues uh, that clubs might face for racing. The first thing that we've done is that we've used rapid fire modules, which is the state of the art today of analog video processing. For the rapid fire modules, what we've done is we've improved the input via the antenna. Part of the problem with multipathic noise is that you have a noise to signal ratio issue. And to combat that, we're using minus 10 dB attenuators that are upstream of the antennas themselves. This brings both of the signals down, the noisy signal and the true signal, and it gives the rapid fire module the best possible chance of competing the right signals to be able to stitch together the video that the pilot wants to be able to see for racing. We're also using omnidirectional antennas, so these antennas are going to provide a half dome, upper and lower view uh, for that reception coming into the rapid fire module, and it's not going to prioritize any specific location as would happen with patch antennas. With patch antennas, what can often happen is that you're actually boosting the signal coming from a noise source such as video that is reflecting off of a metal surface and you're deprioritizing video that's coming from the actual source. So that is what we've done using rapid fire modules, minus 10 dB attenuators, and dome uh, omnidirectional antennas. In addition to the rapid fire modules, we have created video boards, one per channel, which allows for three separate video inputs going into each of the board. The board competes all three video sources and at any moment picks the best quality video source and provides that back to the pilot with no latency. That switching happens hundreds of times a second and so the pilot is always ensured to have a video signal which is as clear as possible based on the location of the ground stations. Which leads me to the last improvement we've made. Because we have the ability to compete multiple sources, this primary ground station resides in one location of the course, and we have another ground station located on the opposite side of the course with the ability to have a third ground station in a specialized location. This provides full coverage of the course, and it allows for the video signal to be nice and clear throughout the entirety. We know in the past that there have been struggles with having good video, and video clarity is one of the most important things to the success of a quadcopter racing pilot. Uh, by having this multi-station diversity ground uh, station set up, providing multi-diversity video going to pilots, we hope that you can have a better experience coming to race at the National Museum of the United States Air Force. We hope that uh, this improves um, morale, we hope that it improves your racing ability, we pro hope that it improves the crowd experience because um, we, we love this race, we want you to love it, we want everybody else around us to love it. We really appreciate uh, what you bring to the table as a pilot with your skills. We look forward to the competition this year, and we look forward to not having any more video issues. Uh, no one saying, my, my channel sucks, I need, I need some fixing. Alright, so thank you for coming, thank you for tuning in, we look forward to seeing you.